I've instilled a few changes. Uh, I've changed 50% of the senior management. Really? Um, yeah. Uh, um, um, and, and I'm, and what I also discovered, they are good talents mm -hmm. at the same time in SIC. Mm -hmm. But because of certain things, because of the way SIC is run, the current management, mm -hmm. there is no channel for this talent to develop and discover. Mm -hmm. So under your under your leadership, what there's going to be less bureaucracy, more more. More less, less bureaucracy, to come out. less uh, red tape protocol within SIC, mm -hmm. but then you have to look SIC as a whole. Mm -hmm. SIC currently in a transition, in change of ownership. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know there's an announcement that uh, uh, SIC will be out of Malaysian Airports Berhad and will be directly under the Ministry of Finance. Oh, okay. That's been the that's been in the process for the last number of years. Mm -hmm. But the recent uh, statement made by uh, Datuk Sri Basri, Managing mm. Director of MAB, says that's completed. Mm -hmm. But we still yet to receive formal. formal black and white to say that it has been. To some extent, it's a sign of relief for SIC because now we know who our ultimate stakeholders are, mm -hmm. who are the ultimate boss. Mm -hmm. Because at the, prior to this, we like follow the MAB guidelines policies and so on, but then our ultimate boss is actually the so stakeholders, is actually the bosses. Ministry of Finance, yeah. yeah. So at least we have a single yeah. entity to look for. But what is your core job functions at, at SIC? You were brought in to, 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 to do a giant revamp or um, basically to, to help out okay. the chairman? Or yeah, okay. um, basically to support, well, I would report directly to the chairman or board of directors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our, the objective is to take SIC to the next level. Okay. And with the recent Singapore night race and so on, it wakes a lot of people up that is involved directly with motorsport and finally realize that you need to appoint a new uh, GM or CEO to take SIC where it should be. Okay. Uh, basically, where are we heading for the next uh, 5 to 10 years? Okay, we finished the last 10 years, we re look what the hell have we done. Okay, what was the state of SIC? Okay. Eventually, but ultimately, what we want is to get the numbers year in, year out. Okay. Um, to come to all our main events. To create activities uh, during, in between the international events. We want to make SIC a destination to not only motorsport, but for other experiences as well. Whether that could be events, uh, concerts, uh, uh, launches, whatever. What, at, okay, at, at Sepang? At the circuit? Yeah. No, Sepang is basically, okay, Sepang is actually an event company, if you right. look at it carefully. Yeah. It's an event company, but yeah. on motorsport. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, so it's, an, it's an event, it's a motorsport event. Mm -hmm. SIC is actually a huge venue, you know. It's like a, a ballroom. Right. You do it just it's do anything. Huge ballroom. Yeah. It's a yeah. huge ballroom. You yeah. can do whatever you want to do. You know, you have motorsport. You want to do an outdoor concert, you can do it at a helipad. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to do uh, product launches. You want to do uh, an experience wedding on a track or whatever. It's un mm -hmm. Everything is under the sky, mm -hmm. you know. But, uh, but then we need the supporting uh, facilities as well. Right. You know, we need to build a hotel, you know, we need to build a uh, racing centre where Thin can be permanently based in Sepang rather than buy 100,000 euro or half a million ringgit cars but store it in a container. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right. So you need to do a proper racing centre. You know, why not do a, a, a duty-free zone? Right, right, right. Uh, a motorsport museum and even an indoor arena. Mm -hmm. uh, we have not seen, we have, we have not had a proper indoor entertainment arena uh, in Malaysia. Right. You know, we need to create all these facilities and you know, like to attract more activities and hence ultimately more people to come to Sepang International Circuit. People would not want to just come to all the way to Sepang and just watch a race. Mm -hmm. Okay, they, they need to be attracted of other activities as well. And that is something that we're going to do for Formula One. Mm -hmm.
okay, we need to create a festival atmosphere, a carnival atmosphere for families. It has to be family oriented. It can't just cater for the pure fanatics of mm -hmm. uh, motorsport. Right. Okay, it has to be more uh, attractive for the mass market, and that's mm -hmm. usually family oriented. Right. Uh, those who have not been exposed to motorsport yet. So while hubby is watching the race, wife goes and shop. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's, there's. Uh, we, we want, we want activities for the kids. You know, uh, side shows. Mm -hmm. You know, we want music. You know, the, the, when there's nothing going on on the track, mm -hmm. uh, there's cons mini concerts. Formula One is seen to be inaccessible to the general public. Yeah. It's for the high level income for the riches and it's not appealing to the to the other society society uh, but then there's a lot of fans you know um, so what we want to do is to create activities uh, that bridge the gap between the formula one fraternity and the mass public okay so we're working closely with uh, formula one management asm and all that where where we want autograph sessions with the Formula One drivers and they're very difficult to, to, oh, yeah, to yeah. organize. Uh, we want a, a go-kart session with the Formula One teams, drivers, yeah. probably GP2 uh, uh, drivers, uh, um, speed car drivers mm -hmm. who are basically former champions of mm -hmm. F1, uh, go-kart with journalists, with corporate, with fans. Uh, of course, not everybody can participate, but what we can do is that uh, we, can, we can hype up, build it up, where you have an opportunity to win two... Two people can win a... a participate in a go-kart, for example. Mm -hmm. An ordinary guy out there can mm -hmm. try and win two passes and he can go right. inside, inside yeah, the pit and get a tour of what the hell everything is all about. You know, uh, those kind of things that we can use to build it up, leading up to the weekend. Yeah. So therefore, for for me to plan all this, like I mentioned earlier, all this wonderful stuff that we want to do for the next five, ten years, mm -hmm. SIC needs major restructuring mm -hmm. internally. Right. Okay. Major revamping from from the current management, the current staff. Mm -hmm. We need to get. Uh, we need to get good people in, um, professionals, mm -hmm. uh, those with uh, whatever industry, you know, right, right, right. Uh, which I've done it already. Mm -hmm. uh, so they have a mammoth task to do. Mm -hmm. I think next week, mm -hmm. in the middle of January, we are launching internally our new image. Mm -hmm. And early February, we'll be launching it to the public, that new image. Okay, uh, we introduce our new management team. We introduce a new Sepang, uh, um, where we are. We are hope to be more sensitive to to needs and exp and, and, and better service to who, those who come and, and patronize uh, SIC. To say. But when you say image, what, do, what does that mean? I mean, is it going to be hip? We need more yeah. hip. Yeah, up to date, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, we need to be up to date, more heat, more commercial, uh, in line with the current trend. Mm -hmm. uh, our logo, our image is tired. You know, we, we need to rejuvenate life into the management. We need to have come up with new activities, new ideas. Okay, uh, uh, we need to bring in new people with new concept you know, to make SIC more interesting.